right, welcome to Cryptocurrency Blockchain News, your daily cryptocurrency blockchain aggregated news show on YouTube. Bye, it's going to be drinking. Look, it's going to be smoking. Look, it's going to be swearing. Look, oh, fuck, you've been warned, son. So look, look, here come my three. Bye, look, look, two. Bang, look, look, one. Bye, welcome everybody. Black, bang, white, bang, gay, straight, look, look. Christian Muslim Jew. Yes. My name is Shamari Clark. Welcome to Cryptocurrency Blockchain News. You're about now about to witness the greatest show on earth. The greatest show in the multiverse. Bye! That's how it's going down around these parts. Bye! That's how it's going down around these parts. <laughs> look! Oh, yeah, we talking straight, straight regs, straight rules and regs tonight, boys and girls. Look, look, ladies and gentlemen, straight rules and regs around these parts. Oh, yeah. Straight rules and regs around these parts. I shall, I tell you right now, I know what's going on. I, I saw what Binium sent me. I'm going to show you at the end. Bag on. Here comes Europe. What do we want? Just, just wait. We'll get there. So let's proceed how we proceed. But Swiss cryptocurrency laws, <laughs> we're going to talk about those. And then the U.S. has approved. So remember that shit I read you yesterday? What was it? I just read that yesterday. Yeah, the Congress bill to, uh, for crypto proposal the, the, to, to study crypto. Yeah, well, they just approved that shit today. Fuck. I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> so that's a little update. So we're going to update on something I already talked to you about. But just to show you, like, dang on, that was quick. And then, bang! What are we waiting for, brothers? Wow, we're waiting for a tsunami. Yes, 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 of course, of course we are. But I mean in the immediate, in the short term. European Union regs. And there's been a leak. Oh, yes. They've leaked a little bit of the data. And it looks like the EU, that's the European Union, is going to create a super body. To govern crypto. <laughs> Pretty interesting. Pretty interesting. So we're going to check it out. Bye. So let's begin how we begin. With a little bit of bye. Whoops. Bye. There we go. <laughs> look, look. But we can do happen to hurry up. Got some NFL on tonight. Kansas City against the Houston Texans. Look. Some good young quarterbacks right there. All right, let's begin. Now we begin with a bar. Yes. Look, look. Oh, here comes the money, brothers. This is too stupid. This is too stupid. I mean, I'm... Yes. Look. All right, all right. Where are we at? All right, all right. Let me... Let's let's go. Let's go. All right, Bitcoin, $2,326. Yeah, I'm doing this early tonight because I'm going to watch this NFL game. Well, I plan to be smoking heavily. <laughs> I will be in no condition to do this later. So look, let's just get it over with now. And then I can catch the second half of the game. All right. Price of Bitcoin is 2000 sorry, 10,000. Why do I keep saying 2000 thing? Uh $10,326 when I left yesterday, we're at $10,375. So we've gone down uh, a whole what was that? $49. All right. Look, top 10. Top 10 of the day, brothers. Usual suspects, top 10. Bitcoin, Ethereum, Tether, XRP, Chainlink, Bitcoin Cash, Polkadot, Binance Coin, Litecoin, and Bitcoin SV. See what the market moves today are. Look, look. Single digits up, single digits down. These are some weak ass moves. Hold on, let me refresh the screen real quick. Let me refresh. I forgot to do a little refresh. I didn't really do anything. Okay. <laughs> look. All right. Let's keep moving then. I know. I'll just single digits up, single digits down. These are literally single digits up to single digits down. Oh, there's a double digit. Oh, that urine thing. Holy. Oh, hey, speaking of that urine thing, so that DeFi stuff, these guys are getting exit scammed left and right. There were two today. Two of those DeFi things got fucked over. All right, well, anyway, see, single digits up, single digits down. Single digits up, single digits down.
Single digits up, single digits down. All right, so let's see what lost money, Dave. If you see anything on here you like, go get it because it is on sale. Bye. All right, not much. The fucking sushi swap thing. I, I just can't believe the things that people will throw their money into. Like, oh my gosh. All right, look, look. Top 10 losing today. Sushi swap. <clears throat> Elrond, Serum, Arweave, Cybervane, Hedge Trade, Polkadot, Compound, Tron, and Bitcoin SV. Let's look who made money today. Bah! Oh, that's some nice games right here. Oh, yeah, this elf thing. Yeah, yeah. Look at this motherfucker. 152% up. <laughs> yeah. All right, look, look. Top 10 gainers. Elf, Flexcoin, Ampleforth, Gollum, IOST, Yearn Finance, Loopring, DFL Money, Synthetics Network and Icon. Let's see what total market cap of the day is. Total market cap. 337.6. All right, so just a little shuffling of the deck, really. All right, so we're at $337.6 billion. When I left you yesterday, we're at $338.9 billion. So we went down $1.3 billion. Oh, I know, and this is holy shit. Look at the fucking volume. Look at this fucking volume. Unbe-fucking-leavable. All right, 259.1. Fucking incredible. Yeah, yeah, earlier today, I think it was, I don't know, someone in the chat was like, yo. And I was like, what? <laughs> and so what's interesting is, though, um, that is, all right, so first of all, let's do how we do it. So today's uh, 24-hour volume is $259.1 billion. When I left you yesterday, we were at $140.5 billion. And I thought 140 was amazing. Like, oh, fuck yeah, you know me. Anything over $100 billion and I'm, yeah, yeah, that seems acceptable to me. Yeah, but dang job, we're at two fifty nine point one billion, so we are up, fucking, a hundred and nineteen billion dollars. Bumba Ross clot. Yo, that's some serious gains. All right, hold on. Some miscreant is at my door. One second. Bang! All right, where were you? Yeah, here we are. Why are we doing right here, part? Where were we? Oh, that's it. That's it. Oh, yeah. This dag on. Look at that volume. Look, look. Dag on, dag on. So, fuck. I mean, that's. I think that's got to be the biggest volume we've ever had on this show. I'm not going to go look back in the cards. But anyway, so, uh, this is incredible. And, uh, you know, volume means, like I told you, participation, participation in the market. Whether it's up, whether it's down, whether they're buying or selling, that's not what that means. What it means is just activity. And so there was a lot of activity in this market, $259.1 billion of activity. And you know what's interesting? Just looking at this now, um, with these, because uh, it was kind of an evenish. Well, okay, everything kind of did go up. All right. Yeah, yeah. All right, so I was going to say something, but I guess I'm wrong. All right, so anyways, let's get to our stories. Let me put back this old card. Let's get to the stories right around each part. Oh, yeah. But new Swiss law provides solid ground for blockchain. And look, look. Crypto. So that goes down, brothers. You know, those Swiss banksters. You thought those Swiss banksters were going to let this shit pass? Fuck no. Get out of your mind. When I was a child, everybody knew about Swiss banking. Look, as a child, there's only two things you know about Switzerland. Cheese and numbered bank accounts. <laughs> That's it. That's it. Right? Well, and these guys blowing these yodeling things here. These uh, these little these things. Yeah, it's it. All right? Cheese and banking. That's what the Swiss are about. <laughs> and so... With the new asset class coming on board, well, you know those bands of miscreants over there ain't going to let this thing go by. <laughs> no, sir, they're not going to have that. No, sir. 
All right, so here come the Swiss. And, uh, well, actually, they've been around. So uh, we got to say this, actually. So the European Union is the new one, that the big one that's coming. But actually, the Swiss have been here since last year, right? We, we read about, um, remember that Eamon AG, which is now called 21 Shares, but it was called Eamon AG last year. They were the first ones to drop that Bitcoin ETP. So, I mean, we're waiting for this European Union money. Well, we're waiting for all the daggone money, but let's get real. The next big thing is the European Union. But the Swiss have been around for a minute. So let's give them their proper due. You know what I'm saying? Let's give them their proper due. Let's give them their proper due. All right, let's check it out, brothers and sisters. Look, look. Swiss parliamentarians on Thursday passed a new set of finance and corporate law amendments that recognize the blockchain and, look, cryptocurrency industry. Oh, yeah. Yes. As per Swiss Info report, <laughs> the government has amended several laws ranging from company bankruptcy to securities trading. The new set of laws define the, legality, the legalities of exchanging digital securities and also the legal process of reclaiming digital assets from companies that go bankrupt. So... Now they're getting into some juicy, juicy details. Things I, I never thought about this. Like, so what if some company owns some crypto, uh, but it goes bankrupt? All right, well, how do you recover those? Who gets them? You know, how are they dispersed? Oh, yeah. You know, the Swiss are. A lot of detail. Um, so it further defines the legal requirements for running cryptocurrency trading exchanges, such as that it mitigates the risk of money laundering using crypto. So everyone has to do that. We talked about this a million times. FATF compliant. FATF, the Financial Action Task Force, came into, wait, wait, how do you say this? Well, let me put it this way. June 1st, if you're a country, you had to be, well, June 1st, everyone had to be FATF compliant. So some are, and some aren't, Jeez. and some are in a gray area. So there's a grading system. Um, yeah, yeah. And so that's that money laundering stuff. All right, and so... These amendments come after the members of the House of Representatives passed the Blockchain Act without any opposition in the summer of 2020. So that was earlier this summer, without any opposition. So that sounds like their parliament, sounds like everyone in parliament voted for it, right? So that'd be like, if you're an American, that'd be like the House and the Senate, every member just saying, yes, you know, voting for it. <laughs> That's never going to happen here. But look, oh, that'd be a beautiful thing. We'll see. But it won't. All right. So it's likely that the new form of the existing laws will come into effect early next year. With that, the blockchain and cryptocurrency industry and decentralized finance are expected to gain a massive boost in Switzerland. You dag on right. At present, Switzerland is home to more than 900 blockchain and cryptocurrency companies, including Facebook's Libra, that employ approximately 4,700 people. That's right. Facebook's Libra is in Switzerland. Yes. I saw one of you in the comments. Thank you, Mark Zuckerberg. Thank you, Mark Zuckerberg. Thank you, Mark Zuckerberg. Jag on right. All right, so the European nation, mostly known for its beautiful alpine landscapes and luxury goods, has been <laughs> has been a major player in the world of banking and finance. I don't know about, well, it's known about the alpine stuff and banking. I don't know about luxury goods, except maybe the cheese. I don't know. Anyways, luck has been a major player in the world of banking and finance. Of course, that's what it's known for, banking and finance, right? Like you've seen the movie Wolf of Wall Street, I'm sure every single one of you. Yeah, well, where does the Wolf of Wall Street go to hide his money? Yeah, at fucking Switzerland, right? When they're trying to tape the money to that girl and everything and go to the airport. Yeah, that's Switzerland, right? That's, that, when I was a kid, that's what Switzerland was about. Numbered banking accounts, right? Anyways. It has also been quick to adopt blockchain and cryptocurrency and has since supported both existing and new companies to experiment with the technology. Alongside the government trying to push blockchain and cryptocurrency innovation, many public and private sector companies in Switzerland are also experimenting with this technology. Private cryptocurrency banks have also sprang up in Switzerland. In 2019, Signum, so that's the one we always read about, and Seba, Crypto AG, became the first cryptocurrency banks in the country after receiving a Swiss banking license from the Swiss Financial Market Supervisory Authority. So, bah! 
Here come the Swiss. I mean, they were already coming. They were already coming. They came from last year, but but this is big. Uh, this gets more deeper now, right? It gets into it, the minute details of right. Like it said, like uh, what to do if you know reclaiming digital assets from a company if they go bankrupt. You know, like now they're getting into the finer. You know, the devil is always in the details. The devil is always in the details. And now they're getting into that part of it. And so, uh, amazing, amazing, bang, amazing. Let's move on. Bang, U.S. legislators approve bill for study of crypto, oh, oh, sorry, not crypto, of blockchain and commerce. So, I read you yesterday, right? All right, so they want to study crypto. So we might not even read this whole thing. But I just wanted to read it to you because we read yesterday that they proposed the bill. And then, well, fuck, I wake up today. <laughs> it said it said they've approved the bill. Dang on. So actually, I went to the website and they, they did. They did. I went to that. So remember, uh, it showed us the, the committee. So I went to the committee website and it's right there. They approved it. And uh, so... So, yeah, the, the two bills will now go to the House of Representatives for a vote. So this is it's approved out of committee. So you know how your government works. The committees in your legislation. Uh, sorry, sorry. The committees in your legislator, legislature, right? Is that how you say it? legislature? Right. They work on bills. And then once those guys decide, yes, this is a good bill, then it goes to the full house floor right so everybody votes and in your country too uh as long as you live in some sort of democracy which i'm sure you do because you're probably in some english-speaking country so that's how shit works and so it's out of committee boom and it's now going to the floor uh actually it says right here for a vote and you know like i read you yesterday this is one of the rare holy shit rare occasions in America, where this is what is known as a bipartisan bill. America only has two, only has two uh, political parties. So, you know, when both of them agree on something, that's a fucking miracle. <laughs> you know, and so this is one of them that they agree on. Bang, 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 bang. Oh, yeah, guys. Oh, yeah, guys. Don't worry about the crypto here. Well, you know, what's what's stopping crypto here in America is not the arguing between the politicians. It's just the laziness of them getting around to voting on stuff because both parties are down, right? We read that the other day. Uh, sorry, sorry, not the other day, but uh, we watched the, um, remember we read that, we not read, we watched the hearing on, um, remember digital payments earlier this year? I think that was Q1, right? Yeah, both parties were down. So it wasn't a question of, is there going to be a, a an American <clears throat> CBDC uh, digital dollar or not? It's how is it going to be? Remember, we, we watched that. It's how is it going to be? It's not whether we're going to have one or not. And so um, at least for here in America, uh, uh, crypto is bipartisan. Well, blockchain is bipartisan. Well, and crypto is bipartisan. So. It's not a matter of, here in America, the problem with, with, with this place coming online is, the Americans coming online isn't that they're arguing about uh, whether, you know, crypto should be around or not, or blockchain should be, no, no, that's not the problem. It's just that they're, you know, it's it's election season, and so, you know, fuck, motherfuckers are taking, you know, um... Anyways, what I'm trying to say is it's bipartisan. Let's just put it that way. And so we are going to have crypto in America. That That's not the problem. That's basically what I'm trying to tell you. It's just a matter of time. When do these fucksticks get around to voting, right? When do these daggone politicians get around to voting on it? That's really our problem, but it's on the way. Uh, there's no doubt about that. And so... Uh, So we're just going to quickly skim through this article. 
Because we talked about it yesterday, right? And so, yeah. I'm not going to waste your time with it again. All right, so the Committee of Energy on Energy and Commerce has just approved two pieces of legislation that spur more in-depth analysis of blockchain technology and government, clearing the way for their vote in the House of Representatives. So, that's the committee. So, it's out of committee. It's out of committee. Now it goes to the full House for a vote, right? Um... I don't know, we can read a little bit here. So in an, online, in an online debate moderated by a Chamber of Digital Commerce founder, Pirianne Boring, on September 9th, Democratic representative of Florida's 9th District, Darren Soto, announced that, oh, and look, if you're down here in Florida and Darren Soto is your guy, I don't know, Pollywood, maybe Justin, uh-huh, he's, accepting, uh, he's accepting campaign donations in Bitcoin. <laughs> yeah. Anyways, announced that after nearly two years of pushing, the Committee on Energy and Commerce had passed the Digital Taxonomy Act. But, in addition, the committee approved the American Compete Act. So we talked about the Compete Act yesterday, but they also passed this one. So it was two bills. All right, so maybe I should be a little bit more specific. Uh, Yes, yes. So there are actually two crypto bills that were passed today. Well, well, out of committee. They're not laws yet. They're just out of committee. So the first was the Digital Taxonomy Act. Bang. And then the next one was the one that I read to you yesterday. It was this one, the Compete Act, remember? With the the big, long name, right? Um, So both pieces of legislation will now go to the main floor. So now they're going to the main floor, bitches. Look, look, of the House of Representatives for a daggone vote. Bah! Moving along, moving along nicely. All right, so. All right, all right, so let's read it. So the Digital Taxonomy Act, if passed in Congress, would instruct the Department of Commerce in consultation with the Federal Trade Commission to conduct and submit a study. Holy hiccups. Submit a study on the state of blockchain technology at various committees in the House of Representatives and the Senate. It would also require the Federal Trade Commission to report on recommendations regarding unfair and deceptive practices related to digital tokens. So, bang. And then the American Compete Act. That's the one we read yesterday. We're to require the Department of Commerce to review the study and report. Oh, did you guys read the law? I tweeted it. Well, that's some deep shit. They're getting right in there. It's beautiful, beautiful. Uh, Studying Congress on the state of artificial intelligence, quantum computing, blockchain, and related industries. So, it's a first step, said Soto, who sponsored the first bill with Rep. Brett Guthrie, Republican from Kentucky. And Rep. Kentucky. The fuck do they know about crypto? (laughs) And Rep. Doris Matsui, Democrat of California. Kentucky is such a shithole. (laughs) <laughs> what a fucking shithole. We definitely want to get into more substantive legislation. But for right now, the appropriations in getting the first reports done by the Department of Commerce, the FTC, the DOD, and others are going to uh, acclimate Congress because a lot of folks don't understand the technology. And so so what that guy just said right there is, look, that's that's a nice way of a politician saying, look, I know all about crypto. But my fucking retard buddies here in the Congress don't know fuck all. (laughs) So we're going to have the Department of Commerce, the FTC, and the DOD, and others are going to acclimate. I love that word. They're going to acclimate Congress because a lot of folks don't understand technology. In other words, we're going to teach these idiots what the fuck. And that's what these two bills are about. Teaching the idiots what the fuck. So we can get on with legislating and regulating around these parts. <laughs> That's a good way to say it, right? That's a great way that he said it, right? That's how politics talks, right? We're we're gonna we're gonna acclimate Congress. In other words, teach these fucking idiots. <laughs> all right. So bye. All right, all right. That's good enough, man. How much? 
Because that's what happened, right? It already passed. Well, out of committee. Is there anything else important to talk about? Because I want to get to this EU shit right here. All right, here and here's our boy Soto. He practices what he preaches. The congressman also announced that he'd be accepting crypto campaign contributions. Bang! Break out the Bitcoin, boys. <laughs> his web coin, his website currently shows the option to give up to two thousand eight hundred dollars using BitPay. Look, look, look! Bah! Comes America. Who comes America? Hey, <laughs> good stuff. Good stuff. And so let's get real. It's not nothing close to what I'm about to read you. Uh, I mean, they are literally, these are just bills for these departments to go study blockchain and then tell the politicians about it. And then they'll decide what to do. So, I mean, America, uh, let's get real. We're going to be behind. We're going to be a long way behind for a long minute. Well, I'm sorry, 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 sorry. I shouldn't, I shouldn't say that. Because actually, I read another story about this exact story. And actually, they're only going to give them a certain time to study it. So I think it was like six months. And then they have to report back. So it's not going to be forever. It's not like they can just sit around forever. But, but I mean, it's slow. But you know who ain't slow? Bon! European Union. Oh, look at this fuck sticks face right here. Look at him. Look at this big old meathead. <laughs> Thank you, Mark Zuckerberg. Thank you, Mark Zuckerberg. Thank you, Mark Zuckerberg. Bah! So, you know that we're waiting for. What the fuck are we waiting for this month, homeboys? Homegirls? Yes, miscreants. <laughs> we're waiting for, folks. Waiting for the daggone EU. Said that they're going to give their full crypto regs this month. Well... As you can see, a little bit of the project beep has been leaked. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. So we're gonna talk about that dag on leak. Oh, yeah, let me have a sip. We can talk about the dag on leak around these parts. Look, here come the here come the Europeans. That's where it's coming from. That's where we're gonna get our first our first push of institutional money, like a real push. A big institution. I'm talking hedge fund money. I'm talking institutional bankster money. Bond coming out of Europe. Coming out of Europe. Uh, just amazing, amazing, right? Right when you have a new asset class, and it's being built up around the world, like you don't know where's the, who's going to be the first actor, who's going to be the first player, who's going to be the first major player. To step up to the bat, and what are they going to do about it, right? Bah! That's what I keep saying. Europe, lately I've been saying. Looks like Europeans, they're the ones. They're the ones that are going to come out. Oh, fuck. Someone's at my door. Hold on. Whoops. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What the fuck? Oh, one guy. Bah! All right, here we go. So look, where were we? Hold on. Yeah. Little Miss Green came to my door. But there we go. Bye. EU, baby. EU. And so we got a little leak. So this isn't the full thing. What I'm going to read to you is not the full laws. I'm going to tell you the truth. Once those full laws come out, I'm probably just going to do a full show on just the EU regs. Oh, yeah. We're going to break that motherfucker right down. <laughs> we're going to break that fucker down around these parts. Bye. But for now, all we get is a little, what they call a, just a little, just a little leak. So for now, we're just going to have a little sample, just a little, some little hors d'oeuvres before the main course, <laughs> before the entree. We're just going to snack on a little few escargot here. We're going to do a full show on that fucking thing. When that comes out, wow. Uh, I ain't got shit to talk to you about about except that when that day comes. Bang! And, and you know what I love? The fact that there's a leak already. Holy, these shit, these motherfuckers. I tell you right now, this thing is, it's written. It's made. They've already written it and it's made. They just needed to go through the, 
you know, the bureaucratic processes of, you know, this bureaucrat has to sign this and that bureaucrat, but it's done. It's done. What does it entail? Well, we don't know yet. But we know that, well, we're going to know a little bit right here. I didn't even read this yet. Yeah, so I didn't even read this yet. But uh, we're about to read this shit. Well, let me get a a puff and a sip, and we're going to get on this motherfucker. Look! Here it is, guys. So, uh, like I said, but seriously, though, um, the EU is going to lead on this, man. And when it comes to crypto, oh, that's what I was trying to tell you guys. That's what I was telling you before uh, we were interrupted here. Is that, um, right, the Chinese... Um, so what was I trying to tell you about the Chinese again? Right, the Chinese have said, yeah, 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 we're blockchain, we're blockchain, we love it, we love it, but they're not unleashing their citizens, right? Like, um, their citizens just have to keep doing all this peer-to-peer shit, but they're not, uh, you guys get what I'm saying, right? You know what I mean? Well, they're not defining the crypto. So what is crypto? What is it? And all this. They keep talking about the blockchain, blockchain, blockchain. Right. And they built their big government blockchain. What was it called? The BS something something, right? Blockchain services and BSN, right? Blockchain services network. But in terms of their average citizens, and and I mean, let's, uh, let's get real about it. We don't give a fuck about citizens, soccer mom and dad. You and I, we're here for some daggone institutional money. And so they haven't unleashed their institutions on this place yet. So while while it's amazing in terms of the Chinese thing, while it's amazing in terms of, all right, our chain link is part of this BSN thing. So, well, there's a government contract. like, But, but they're not letting their citizens buy it. And so, uh, what, which is different in that the EU and Switzerland, we just, we read and we've been reading, Right, it's about the citizens, well, and your banksters and hedge funds. Right, it's we don't really care about the citizens right now. We care about the banksters and hedge funds first to give us our new liquidity, right? And so, uh, plus they're not weak hands. And so, uh, Europe, uh, Europe is the place, man. Europe is the place. That's where, as far as I go, as far as I'm concerned. My eyes are focused, locked on Europe. The British aren't doing anything. Canada, Australia ain't doing anything. Right? Everyone's waiting on the big dogs. Europe, America, or Britain. Right? And Britain seems to be waiting, so I think they're waiting. To, uh, they're just waiting on American Europe. So I think those are the two. America and Europe are the two. Even if the Chinese do come along, well, yeah. that'll bring us our money, but all right, all right, let's just move on. Let's move on. I'm not going to say anything about the Chinese thing. All right, so let's move on. Or right, let's begin. Yeah. So, the EU is going to set up a new college of supervisors, including national and European authorities, to oversee significant digital currencies, including Facebook's Libra, uh, according to the European Commission's cryptocurrency draft proposal seen by Euroactive. So, this is the one. This is the European Commission. I told you about the Commission. The European Commission is the, is the executive branch of the European Union. You have three branches of your government, executive, legislative, judicial. The executive, well, that's what the president of your fucking country is, isn't it? Yeah. But, and that's what they're doing, a draft proposal. So a draft proposal. So it's not the full, it's not done yet. So, but, 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 we're, but we're just having a little taste. Like I said, we're just having a little taste right now. I'm just giving you a little taste. Well, I'm having a little taste too. So let's taste these hors d'oeuvres together. <laughs> let's taste it together. Look, the long awa- the long awaited regulation will address the high volatility of vo- All right, all right. Let me Oh, I'm so fuck, I'm so happy. I got to calm the fuck down. All right, hold on. 
Guys, you don't know. The, the, the whole European Union is coming. Motherfuckers, you're about to be rich. All right, let me calm down. All right, plus the fuel is doing it too. All right, so listen. The long-awaited regulation will address the high volatility of cryptocurrencies, including Bitcoin, the most popular of these digital tokens, and the risks posed by systemic ones like Libra. <laughs> so you can see what they're worried about, right? The high volatility, which is true, right? Fucking, you know, shit goes up and down 20% in a day. Nothing does that. Nothing does that on a regular basis, on a regular basis, right? All right. So um, with the 167, so it's a 167-page draft text expected to be presented in the coming weeks. Bang! The U European Union will become the first major jurisdiction to regulate crypto. Look here, fuck sticks. Bang! Look, look, bang! Look, look, look! Bang. Here we go, brothers. Europe, greatest in the multiverse. That's what they want to be, the greatest in the daggone multiverse. First in the multiverse. Fuck right. Uh. The EU will become the first major jurisdiction. What did I tell you last week? I could feel it. I could feel it. Uh. To regulate cryptos. Regulate. This is the full deal, folks. This is the real deal. What's holding back the money? What is holding back your shit you guys say to the moon what's holding it back regulations regulations hedge funds are not allowed to go on bitmex bit tricks and all this kind of nonsense plus they wouldn't <laughs> I'll tell you that right now but oh yeah the european union says they're gonna have a central remember we read about it a central european-wide crypto exchange of course it's gonna be regulated like the fucking like the NASDAQ, the New York Stock Exchange, like anything else. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Bye! Which means that the hedge fund guys and all that, no, oh, yeah, now they can pile in safely. <laughs> safely. Uh, in a regulated fashion. Look! Guys, we've been sitting here for a couple years now. Fuck, we've been yapping, yapping about a daggone tsunami. <laughs> All right, we been yapping about it. Finally, I mean, look, 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 look. Let's not pat ourselves on the back right yet. Don't start pulling your pecker yet. Yeah, it's not yet, because it says will become the first major jurisdiction. So when we start really getting happy is when it when it says has become. <laughs> Bang! And that's happening this month, folks. Love you guys. Look, look! It's been a long time. Buying, holding, accumulating, building a big old warehouse big. Bang! Building a big old warehouse strong. Bang! Filling it with revenue generating product. Well, your rewards are soon coming, Foxtick. Oh, yeah. Eventually, well, I tell you about the Noah story. We're not going to get into the whole thing, but. At the end of the story, I always tell you, well, look, the flood eventually comes, doesn't it? <laughs> yes. Flood eventually comes, fuck sticks. It becomes reality. Yes. And a new reality is born. Yes. With this new reality, your portfolio is going to produce you lots of money. Lots and lots of money. All right, let's go, man. Hook. But uh, look at this. Look at this. Let me just say it one again. One, one more time, though. The EU will become the first major jurisdiction to regulate cryptocurrencies. Bang! Major. 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 This is good. This is good. Major jurisdiction. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Settle down. All right? The Chinese, like I said, they're not unleashing their fucking citizens, though. Yeah, Europe is going to unleash everyone. Okay, so let's continue. I believe the Europe, I believe that Europe is in a position to lead the way on regulation. Exactly. Remember, that's what the South Korean guy said last year when we read that story, 
right? He said he was waiting. Well, they said they were waiting for the U.S. Alec, I told you this is a copycat world. This is a copycat world. And if these rules and regs are, uh, you know, fucking comprehensive, yeah, well, countries are just going to do the same shit. Yeah, why do we have to do our own studies and all that? The Europeans already did. Let's just do this. That's how the world works, right? When one country does something, all right, well, it's working over there. Let's do it over here. And then the politicians over there look like heroes because <laughs> they stole the idea from the guy over there, right? I mean, that's how it, it works in life, right? And so, look, back. let's move on. Dad, gone. Hold on, let's have a sip first. Guys, guys, guys. Fuck, it's unbelievable. Like, we've been sitting here talking for all these years. Well, it's a couple of years. It's not all these. I'm making it sound like decades. <laughs> but we've been talking for these couple of years now. On this channel, anyway. I mean, I don't know about whatever, whatever other kind of fucking bullshit channel you guys watch. But around these parts, you're hearing killer talk. And so we've been talking about regulations coming for a long, long time. Since day one. Since day one. And uh, it's beautiful to see that finally the pressure has built so much that um, the legislators around the world, uh, well, well, the pressure has built thanks to, thank you, Mark Zuckerberg, thank you, Mark Zuckerberg, thank you, Mark Zuckerberg, and thank you, Xi Jinping, thank you, Xi Jinping, thank you, Xi Jinping. The pressure has built so much now that uh, you got to get her done. You just got to get her done. You know what I mean? Yeah. All right, let's listen to this fuck stick. Look, he says, I believe that Europe is in a position to lead the way on regulations. I think so, too. I think it's that's it. They're the first movers. 300 million people population, and these are not, you know, this is not some third world country. This is the European Union, so Western nation. Uh, great. So for some, cryptocurrencies are seen as the money of the future because they offer an almost instant payment system with very few fees. Ah, where do you get that from? Yeah, when I buy a beer in Germany with my American debit card, well, it's instantly paid. Like, I don't understand. That's back end talk. But they are also a primary target for speculators and money launderers. And authorities are especially concerned about digital tokens backed by sovereign currencies known as stablecoins. I know, this is the big fuckery that these, the stablecoin shit, which includes Facebook's Libra. Because they, but that doesn't matter. Don't worry about it. I mean, I, don't worry, don't worry. That's, that doesn't matter for our shit, not our V-chain and our IOTA and everything. That's, that's, don't worry about that. Because they're tied to national currencies, supporters of stablecoins claim they can avoid the bubble and burst evolution seen with Bitcoin. But regulators fear they could destabilize the global economy, especially if they have the potential to reach 2.7 billion users around the world, like Facebook's pet project. I don't know about all that. No, that's a lot of fear mongering. Yeah, Facebook has 2.7 billion users. Yeah, it doesn't mean they're going to use that Libra shit for what? Right? Uh, I'll still just use my debit card on Amazon. Like, yeah, <laughs> you know. So, I don't know. You know, anyway, anyway. You know, these politicians, you know, national politicians, you know, they live in a bubble. Nancy Pelosi, so here in America... Nancy Pelosi, she's the head of the Congress. And uh, what's this fuckstick's name? The turtle-looking motherfucker. Mitch McConnell. Bitch McConnell, I call him. Bitch McConnell. He's the head of the Republicans of the Senate. You know, and these people live in a bubble, right? They're just surrounded by aides and workers, you know, who are just there for their political stuff. And so they don't interact with the real world anymore. You know, not here in America anyway, like... I know, like, uh, over there in Europe, you your politicians are normal people. They, like, go drink at bars and stuff like that. Yeah, our guys don't do that. 
They don't do that here in America. And so, um, so they don't get to, you know, experience real world America. You know, Nancy Pelosi hasn't lived in the real world <laughs> yeah, for like 40 years. Mitch McConnell, Bitch McConnell, the, the, he's the Republican guy. Yeah, he's never lived in the real world for fucking 40 years, right? All they do is they rule by polls, poll numbers, poll numbers, polling on this, polling on that, polling. And that's how they get their, um, uh, how they do their voting and all that, right? Why am I telling you this? Why are we talking about that? Oh, and that's what I mean. So, and whereas in Europe, you guys, your politics, like when I lived in Germany, yeah, politicians would drink beer with you. I, I went to this place called Alexanderplatz for a uh, a World War II, um, it was like this festival, a uh, Russian festival of beating the Germans. Yeah, and there were politicians there. Yeah, and they sat right down and were just fucking drinking beer with everyone. Not with a whole bunch of aides and secret service and all this. Nah, they were just regular, like just sitting there. I was like, what the fuck? To tell you the truth, I've never seen that, to tell you the truth. So, uh, but what the fuck are we talking about? How do I get into all that? Anyways, brothers, look. Oh, all right. And that's what I mean is that they're all scared, right? They're, you know, that, that Libra is going to endanger financial stability and these stable coins will settle down, settle down. All right. So, the commission's proposal will come after almost two years of slow progress. But, as the officials admitted, Libra was a wake-up call. Bye! What did I tell you? Libra was a wake-up call to take seriously these digital tokens. What did I tell you, boys? Hold on, let me even... Bye! What did I tell you? Here on this channel. What have I been telling you, fucksticks? When Mark Zuckerberg said that fucking word, Libra... Yeah, and told them what it meant. It means I'm coming out with some daggone money, Fox Dick. Look! That made all the governments around the world <laughs> look, look, right? It made them all look, look. <laughs> look. And then, like I told you, sucky suck, that's the private sector. One private company coming out with its own money. I don't give a fuck about all these stable coins, Monero. Litecoin, all that, that, that's garbage, that's garbage. Let's get Libra, let's get real. Because they've got built-in users, right? Uh, let's get real. Uh, and then when Xi Jinping said, <laughs> uh, we read it yesterday, the lady, the lady yesterday, <laughs> what was it, the Congress lady yesterday said, no, oh, fuck, here come the Chinese, basically is what she said, right? And so, Bang. All right. So, and I love you guys. Look, that's how the world works. So, Libra was a wake up call to take it seriously, these digital tokens. All right. We got here. So, the goal of the new rules is to provide legal certainty, regulatory clarity, support innovation, protect consumers and investors ensure financial stability and market integrity, the document says. Yes. They need to regulate at EU level. Yes. EU level. EU commission level. Yeah. Yeah. Federal level. EU, mem or, yes, EU commission, right? The federal. That's the federal government of the European Union. The United States of Europe. I know you don't like it, but fuck you. You know you are. And the EU Commission. Bye. Yes. So to need to regulate at the EU level has become more urgent, given that some member states have started designing their own rules, including Germany, France, and Malta. Ah, so that's, do you, do you get that? Do you get that? They need to have EU level one because the little miscreants that are part of this whole thing are starting to do their own thing. Right, in the EU... The European Commission, the European Commission, which is the executive branch of the European government, 
He's like, look, 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 look. We can't just be letting Greece and fucking Spain and fucking, you know, these fucking miscreants just do their own thing. We got to come out with some rules and regs around these parts. Rules and regs, boys. Rules and regs. That's what gets shit done. That's what gets shit done. Rules and regs. Once you got rules and regs, well, all right. Well, everyone knows how to behave or how you're supposed to behave. Now, rules and regs here in America, when you drive on a highway, 65 miles an hour is the speed limit. Be like that. That's the rules and regs. You could drive slower or you could drive faster. So, but the point is, is you have to have that point where you say this is the rules. But. That's what Europe's doing. They're saying, look, look, these are the crypto rules. Bye. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Bye. Oh, yeah. These are the crypto rules now. Well, at least around these parts. <laughs> around these parts, they are. And that's how it's going to go down. Look. So that's what they said that they need to regulate at the EU level. They got to show them what it's doing Round those parts in the EU. Bye. Has also become more urgent, given that some member states have started right, doing their own shit, doing their own shit. Now, nah, Europe is like, look, look, fuck stick, look, look. So the commission proposal, however, will not cover the digital currencies that central banks are currently developing. So that's an interesting thing right there. So, and we don't give a fuck. So this is a bunch of bullshit I'm about to tell you. Well, not bullshit. I'm, I never tell you bullshit, but. Uh, so these rules and regulations that are about to come out from the European Union are for our cryptocurrencies, so that wannabe money, blah, 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 stuff, and then the real, yeah. Your V change, your IOTAs, yeah. right? And uh, but they will not cover digital asset, uh, well, CBDCs. Let's get real. Uh, they're not going to cover digital assets that central banks are currently developing. So the CBDCs. They haven't come out with a rule for CBDCs yet. They've come out with the rules for this asset class, your B chains, your IOTAs, and whatnot, and your stable coins and whatnot, but not the CBDCs yet. So, tailor made approach. The draft proposal. The draft proposal imposes lighter requirements on cryptocurrencies that pose lower risks. So, but rules will be stricter for significant e-money tokens in terms of obligations, supervision, or the sanctioners regime. By tailoring the legislation uh, to the level of risk, the commission expects to foster a market worth about $350 billion and spread over more than 6,700 digital currencies while addressing the potential challenges that these digital assets could bring. Cryptocurrency developers should produce a white paper with all the relevant information about the issuer, the token or the trading platform to enable potential buyers to make an informed purchase to blah, blah, blah. So, oh, all right, let's read. An informed purchase decision and understand the risks relating to the offering, the proposal says. So, national and European regulators must approve these documents before issuers can start operating. So, okay, if you want to launch a crypto, you got to get approved all right that's how that says ah uh, this legal uh, libra shit all right listen so for the libra association and issuers of significant e-money tokens the path will be more difficult as they will also have to become a credit institution or an electronic money institution facing stricter requirements compared with other digital operators offering financial service. So that's what Libra, so they're saying uh, in Europe, Libra has to get, they're gonna have to get, um, they're gonna have to get a credit institution, I guess a uh, license or an electronic, uh, electronic money institution license. <sighs> All right, so as a result, Libra and other significant e-money tokens will fall under the supervision of the European Banking Authority. But the Commission will add an additional body, including national and European supervisors, to assist EBA 
in overseeing these systemic things. So they're going to build a new body just for crypto, right? So the commission will add an additional body just for crypto, just to watch out over crypto. All right. Uh, come on, man. How much more is this shit? So the EBA will chair this call of supervisors uh, and will include other others, among others, other others, among others, national authority of the member states where the issuer of the significant e-money tokens have been authorized, the EU Securities and Markets Authority, the SMA, the ECB, or any other EU central bank, depending on the sovereign currency back in the digital tokens. Uh, the EBA... All right, look, man, fuck, let's get out of here, man. That's enough. That's enough. Because we're going to get, we're going to read. So, Shmori, read more. Nah, there's no more to read. Settle down. Settle down. What we need to read is the full crypto stuff. So, they're going to have a big old thing to watch the, all the crypto. And uh, that's great. So, let's move on. Bye. We got NFL football tonight, man. I got to get the fuck out of here. <laughs> God dang, Larry Bell's even the bye. Oh, yeah. We got the fucking, we got the dag on. What we got here? I'll show you right now what we got here. I got to watch this shit right here right now. I just watched the U.S. Tennis Open women's semifinals. Oh, yeah. oh look at Serena's playing right now, too. See, I got to get the fuck out of here. Ah, uh, we got Houston. Houston against Kansas City in the NFL. Lock, lock, fuck sticks. I got to bounce. I got to bounce. I got to bounce. We got to go. We got to go. Oh, yeah. Serena's playing now. Look, god dang, Levis, even the bang. Bitcoin Kong. <laughs> wow. Levis, even the bang. Who we got? What are we drinking, brothers? In 3 2. <laughs> he likes that. He likes the way I say things, I think. He's always saying the things I say. Sorry, wife. No marble kitchen around these parts. You tell her, Kong. Bye. Not right. Not yet. Not yet. No white. No. No. No marble kitchen yet. Huh? She wants one marble kitchen. Yeah. Settle down, sweetie. I'm gonna get you three. Ah. We're gonna buy three homes. Ah. That's how you tell your sweetie right there. Settle down, sweetie. You think you're too small. Think you're too small, sweetie. All right, Bitcoin Kong says, look. You know how it does around these parts. Look. Bang. Swiss crypto laws. Bang. U.S. approval. Bang. <laughs> EU. <laughs> Here it comes. Bang. <laughs> Bang. <laughs> Bang. <laughs> That's how we roll around these parts. Kong knows. Kong knows. Uh, what we got around here? Alejandro Sainz, ass all oh, the ass ring. <laughs> that's, a, that's a good one. <laughs> look, look, ass ring there. I don't really see you, brother. Bang. That's a good one. I love that. That's a good term. Ass ring. <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. That's some funny stuff. All right. Beautiful brawlers. Waiting for my umbrella. So I've been waiting for this umbrella. Look, look, I'm here in South Beach. You send me a few samples of that umbrella. Well, you know South Beach is a tourist trap. So, you know, I know a lot of owners around here who own these these little shops that sell tourist shit. Yeah. Maybe I can get your brawlies. Maybe I can get your brawlies inside. Yes. Can't do it unless I get them. You've been warned. Bye. The D-Pact. Yes. Funny girl. Love you, lady. See you, lady. Bye. Daryl Durant. Love you, brother. the bye. Look, look, Edwin. The original. Love you, brother. the bye. Uh, going in the belly of the beast this way. Uh, he's being deployed again. He's being deployed back in. Uh, he can handle it like James Bond. You got to deploy that fucker. Look. That's how it goes. Rob. Look, look, Ert. Bang. He <laughs> he. Ben him. Let me see the bang. Air drop, son of a bitch. Look, look. Bang. Look, look. Bang. Look, look. 
Bang! I even had to pause on the last bang. Dag on it. Wrong guys. Wrong guys. Follow me. <laughs> Let up with the Ziba. No savior. Bang. Uh, no one savior. <laughs> Black Mamba. Let up with the Ziba. The bang. For real though. DP Entertainment. Soul brother. Bang. Oh yeah. All right. It's Forks time. I know. I murdered it. So I murdered it last night. And so. What happened was last night, uh, so I was showing you, I'll show you right now. Yo, man, the markets fucking played with me last night. So so let me show you the GBV JPY that I was in. So remember I was telling you I'm going up, right? So I got in here, went up here, and then da 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 and then, whoa, I saw that shit going down last night. I think, look, luck. Obviously. I have to cash out. So I cashed out. Hold on. Let me see what I'm in. Let me see what I'm in. Oh, I am actually in that. Okay. okay. Right. So uh, eh, once I saw bang, I was like, no, no, no. So I got in here and I'm making money now here. And then I'm also in GBBNZD. Same thing happened. Remember I said I was going to take it up to the four hour? Well, it didn't make it. And when it broke under the low of yesterday, oh, so that's how I should tell you. Well, how do you know when you, you take the trade, Shamari? Because the low right there got broke. And so once the low got broke, all right, well, we're going short. And as you can see, we're still in the trend. So you see the trend? This green line, that's the 50. Sorry, sorry, the 30. See the red line, the 50. And you see the black line, the 100 SMAs. That's called the trend. So, uh, you know, if you want to know about trends, Google the trend is your friend. And also, whenever you hear a, a Forex or stock trader or some kind of trader talk about the trend is your friend, that's what they mean. This, the 30. Look at that. You look at the green line, the 30. The 50, the 100. And why is it your friend? Well, it's your friend because when price touches it, boom. See right here, price. Boom, it bounces off. And then over here, boom, bounces off. And then boom, bounces off. So every, uh, boom, bounces off. And then boom. And this was a little time, but bang, last night. And so that's why the trend is your friend because you know that when price hits it, well, the trend is going to push price in this case, lower, because this is a downtrend, it's going to push the price lower. All right. And so I was in GBB's NDZ as well. This is the one I made a lot of money off last night. I made a lot of money off this one. So here's the trend. Boom, off the hourly. Boom, off the hourly. Boom, off the hourly. And bang, I made all of that last night. All of that last night. I'm actually I was in the GBP and ZD already from here, so I shouldn't say it like that. Uh, I was in it before, and then we got the retrace, and then bang! When I woke up, I was already pff, yeah, making shit tons, and that's why. Shmori, man, you're gonna take a million dollars and go into a forks account? Yeah, dickhead. This trade right here, yeah, I'd probably make like seventy grand off that if I had a million dollar account. And that's the, the my mission. My mission out of this crypto market is to put a million dollars in Forex and then make my money make money, right? And that's why I keep trying to tell you guys, uh, when you make this money, that's not the end. That's just the beginning. When you make this money, it takes money to make money. When you make this Forex, uh, sorry, not Forex. When you make this crypto money, yeah, that's the beginning of your money-making days. It's not the end. If you just run around buying man Lambos and mansions, yeah, you know what's going to happen? You're going to declare bankruptcy in five years. <laughs> Within five years. Like 89% of lottery winners do. Because they're stupid. Because they're stupid. You, my subscriber, you're going to take that money and you're going to turn that into more money. And then live your life. You know, Then start having the proper fun. All right, bang. Let's get back to this crypto crap. Look, look, so it goes, brothers. All right. Radster, look, look, hold down there. 
bang. Our insurgency in the Czech Republic, bang. Let it be the the bang. All right, what else we got? Look, look, spy lady. Want to see how she changed her name? That's how spy ladies do. They got a fucking, uh, what do you call it when the spies go around, right? What do you call it? They, a cover story, right? They always have a cover story. Yeah. Bang, spy lady. <laughs> love you, girl. See you, girl. Or, or love you, lady. See you, lady. Bang. Dino. Jankovic. When, brother? Long, long time no see, man. This guy's a friend of 007. He's a friend of Van Brienen. Yeah, yeah. All these guys are Netherlands guys. When I first started this channel, these fucking motherfuckers came around here and I was like, what the fuck are Netherlands guys watching me for? Well, I mean, you're watching me because you want to get information and get the money, but I mean, it was just funny, you know, to me, like just that there was this whole posse of Netherlands guys. <laughs> Yo, man, when I make this money, I'm going to go to the Netherlands. We're going to throw a big old party. We're going to have some fun around those parts. And Dino. This is the guy who thought of Noah Fest. And that's why we're going to have Noah Fest when we make this money. Because of Dino. Dino. Love you, brother. Look, look. See you, brother. Look, look. Heading to the Netherlands. As soon as I get this money, brother. Bah! Hell yeah. Him and Ronquez and Van Bleenen. Shit. That's the Netherlands posse. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's posse. That's my European posse. Netherlands. And then this fuckstick right here, beat him. Bang! Yeah, he's a Spanish guy. All right, all right. Look, look, let's get on. Look, let's get on. Oh, look at this son of a bitch right here. Van Brienen! <laughs> Bang! Van Brienen! Holy fucking Van Brienen. Look! Bang! Michel! Holy! My son! I got to go watch these ba these fucking games, man. We got sport. My only son. The light in my eyes. The sun in my heart. The fruit. Oh, the lovely. The fruit of my womb. The fruit of my womb. Michelle, you stay downstairs all the day. We said dag on crypto. I hear some motherfucker saying... Well, his mother doesn't talk like that. I'm sorry, my bad. She doesn't swear. I hear people down there. I hear bang, and I hear look, look. What is happening, Michelle? And this is what Michelle says. Look, look, mama. Mama, look. Mama, leave me. You know nothing of these things. Mama, look. The Swiss, they have upgraded their crypto laws. Right, and they did upgrade that, right? So that when a company goes bankrupt, all right, well, what happens with that crypto? To, to even tell us what happens with the crypto when a company goes bankrupt, mama, look. Oh, yeah. And, they, and then Americans, they approved that one we talk about. Mama, look. And the Americans, those fat, lazy fuckers. <laughs> those fat fucks. Oh, hey. They finally approved. <laughs> to look at the blockchain, Mama. Those idiots. And then Mama, look. Here in the EU, we're about to create a super body for the crypto, Mama. A super body. And we're going to unleash a crypto exchange mama and we're gonna have crypto everywhere mama mama look you know i love you mama i love you so much mama and look look mama you ask me why i'm in what am i doing downstairs mama look i'm investing in the crypto currency mama now leave me woman bang yeah i'm breathing look and I want to, every one of you, every one of you watching this show right now, I want you just to yell that out. Just yell out, Van Breeden! Just say it. Yeah. You see the power? You see the power? Yes. Life of the Zebra, the bar! Ah. Crypto dog to the rescue. 
Oh, Crypto Dog to the rescue. <sighs> Chainlink to the rescue. All right, let's see what dogs talking about. I save dogs in trade. Mine and invest in crypto. Gold evens open a dog sanctuary sustained by crypto mining. Keep up the grind. Okay, this guy's a dog. Holy hiccups like a motherfucker. All right, this guy's a dog lover. All right, and he wants to make a dog. What did he say? Dog sanctuary by mining crypto. That's a pretty good idea there, buddy. That's a pretty good idea. Yeah, I make the crypto just fucking finance your shit. Good idea, crypto dog lover. Look, look, crypto dog to the rescue. Bye. Good one. That's a good idea. That's a real good idea, really. All right, and then I got to show you guys something, though. Here it is. Bam. Bye. So this is the EU shit right here. And actually, this is the European Union's um, site. So, and so I'm going to... Uh, I'm going to post this on Twitter tonight for you guys to read it. Um, what is the Digital Services Act package? And then they give you also, this is the actual uh, government website. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to tweet that. And we'll get that. All right, that's enough. Oh, Miguel G. Started the Twitter just to follow me. Bye. Bye. Hold on. Where's everybody else, though? Where's everyone else? Lorna. Anyway. All right. Let me say Lorna. Bye, Lorna. You got your fucking account fucking finally figured out tonight. Tag on. I'm glad you did that. Well, if you didn't do it, I'm glad it happened. All right. So let's get out of here. Bye. Welcome back to the Death Star. Oh, are we back in the Death Star? Oh, bye. Welcome to the Death Star. All right. There we go. All right, guys. So switch crypto laws. I don't know. Those daggone Swiss. Here they come. They got the crypto laws. I mean, they've actually been the ones first. So let's get real. The Swiss have been, because we've been reading about the Swiss stuff since last year. But we need major economies, major. And that's why, you know, China, India, uh, obviously America. Let's get real. That's what we want to see, right? Like those, uh, those four right there are the ones, right? And so the major ones, right? The major. And let's get real. These little guys, these little players, they're not going to move without the big dogs doing something. So uh, Swiss crypto laws. Bye. And then the, U the U.S. approves study of crypto. Oh, sorry, a blockchain. So, I mean, it's a flipping study, so it's not like America's approving stuff yet, but at least these two laws. Remember, these are only two bills. Remember, there are already 30, there are over 30 crypto bills in the American Congress right now. So, these are just two of them. All right, let's actually make sure that everyone understands that. But these are for studies. And, uh, you know, Xi Jinping's over here deploying. You're over here fucking studying. Yay. <laughs> Yay. That's all I'm going to say about that. Bye. And then, now the goodness. The goodness. Let's go, go, go. The European Union is going to create a super body for crypto. Bah! That's right. And, uh, you know, they already said that they're going to do a uh, crypto. What I love, what I really love about what the EU is going to do. My favorite, Well, first of all, all right, we got a lot of things. All right, hold on. All right, then. Fuck, we got to get into detail. The EU, what I want to see about the EU is, so what do they define these things as, which they said they're going to tell us, this month and they're going to create the uh, so and then then today we learned about the super body thing so that's going to regulate the crypto and all of the european union beautiful so you know like here in america we've got the sec 
you got the CFTC, we got FINRA, we got this. Maybe we start a whole new thing just for the crypto thing. What the European Union is doing. And then finally, what the European Union is, uh, you know, they're going to give us all their rules and regs this month. This month. So it's a beautiful thing. All right. So until then, and you remember, here it comes. Here comes your money. Love you guys. So until then, bye. Subscribe below, press the bell. You can now make a notification when I do the show. The greatest show on earth, the greatest show in the multiverse. Look, my name is Shamar Clark. Bye. I love talking money. Bye. I love talking crypto. Favorite time of my day. So until then, watch here or subscribe here. Press the bell. Watch that video here, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Look, my name is Shamar Clark. Love you guys. Bye. And I am always on duty. Look, look. Yeah. Bye. Over and out.